Welcome. This video will demonstrate the enrollment process of your motorized shade with Nexia. There are three basic steps to the enrollment process. Step one, exclude, which prepares the shades and remotes by dismantling their factory network connection. Step two, include, which enrolls the shades and remotes to the Nexia network. And finally, step three, associate, which pairs the remotes back to their respective shades for local control. Exclude. The exclusion process is necessary because your Z-Wave shades were programmed at the factory to ensure proper, standalone operation. To exclude the factory network on the remotes, press and hold the recessed button on the back of the remotes with a paper clip or, or other small device. The LEDs on the front of the remote will cycle from flashing green to flashing amber and then finally flashing red before turning off. This is your indication that the process is complete. After we have excluded all remotes from their factory network, we can exclude the shades. To exclude the shades, locate the program button on the motor head. Press and hold the program button until the flashing green LED changes to solid amber and then the shade jogs. This is a brief down and up movement of the shade. After the exclusion process, the shade travel limits are maintained so no further adjustment is necessary. The inclusion process with Nexia begins in the user portal. On the portal dashboard, select Add Device. Nexia will present a list of device types to select from. Select Window Coverings, then within Window Coverings, select Z-Wave Window Shade. After reviewing the Getting Started instructions, press Continue. This will take you to the Device Enrollment. Here you will press Continue again. You will have four minutes to access the shade and execute the enrollment process. Once the Nexia device enrollment window appears, press and hold the Shades Program button until the LED flashes green and a release. Back at the user portal, Nexia will acknowledge successful enrollment. Next, you will have the opportunity to name the shade for easy indication in the user interface and complete the setup process. The final setup step is to press Setup Device, and provided you're happy with the name you've provided, press Save Changes. Now that the shade is enrolled, we can enroll the remote or remotes for the system as well. The process is basically the same. Press Add Device, select Window Coverings, Enroll Virtual Cord, and like we did with the shade before, Press Continue to start the enrollment process. Now on the remote control you are enrolling, press and hold the program button until the LED begins to flash green and release. Once the enrollment process is complete, name the control to, to associate with its shade or shades and press Continue. Follow this process for each remote in the system. Our final step is to associate the remotes back to their respective shades for local control. The process is simple. Take our newly enrolled remote and press and release the program button one time until the LED begins to flash alternating green. Next, access the program button on the shade and press and hold until the LED begins to flash green. When association is complete, the LED on both the shade and the remote will turn solid green, acknowledging the association. Follow this process for each remote to shade pairing you desired. That completes the enrollment and setup process for your motorized shades and remotes with Nexia. To operate multiple shades together as a group, use the automations feature within Nexia. 
please contact us if additional assistance is needed.